Hey guys, welcome back to Art Around the World. So today we are learning about Iceland. Some facts about Iceland. Around 11% of Iceland is covered in glacial ice. The three colors of the flag represent elements that make up the island. So red is for volcanic fires, white is for snow and ice fields, blue is for the ocean. Iceland is called land of fire and ice because it's glacial, it's glaciers and volcanoes. Iceland has about 200 volcanoes. There are many natural wonders in Iceland, such as the Blue Lagoon and Deddy Foss Waterfall. You can see the northern lights between November and March. Today we're going to do a northern lights craft. Known as the Aurora Borealis, the northern lights are the result of gas particles in the Earth's atmosphere which, uh, with charged particles released from the sun's atmosphere. Auroral displays are in many colors. Shades of red, yellow, green, blue, and violet have been recorded, but pale green and pink are the most common. So the supplies you're gonna need are a black piece of paper. You can use any other color if you want to. And then some chalk, but you can use paint, color pencils as always, whatever you have available is, is what you can use. Um, some optional supplies, a template of trees, mountains, or animals if you don't want to draw them. A cotton ball or q-tip to smudge your chalk. And then if you are using a template, you can um, tape it down to the paper to keep it more secure. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some mountains on, the, on my paper. So now that I, draw my, I drew my mountains, I'm going to take some chalk and we're going to do the northern lights. So if you're using chalk, I recommend chalk pastels because they smudge a lot easier. Um, but if you're using sidewalk chalk like I am, you may have to wet it a little bit just so it smudges easier. One of the books that we have here is Seekers The Quest Begins. Um, if you would like to check it out, feel free to give the library a call and we'll grab it for you. Alright, so that's going to be it for today. I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys!